The Knights of the Golden Circle, a historical overview. Introduction. The Knights of the Golden Circle, KGC, was a clandestine organization that emerged in the mid-19th century during the height of the American Civil War. Founded in 1854, the KGC aimed to promote Southern expansionism and protect the interests of the Confederate States of America. This report delves into their history, including the organization's activities, impact, and controversies. 1854 to 1860. The KGC was established in Cincinnati, Ohio, by George Bickley, a physician turned adventurer. Initially, the organization focused on supporting and expanding pro slavery sentiments in the southern states. They sought to advance their causes through political influence and economic tactics. When Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860, tensions between the North and South escalated, leading to the secession of several southern states. The KGC played a significant role in promoting secessionist sentiment and encouraging states to join the Confederacy. 1861 to 1862. With the outbreak of the American Civil War in 1861, the KGC sought to actively aid the Confederate cause. They organized covert military expeditions, gathering funds, arms, and supplies for the Confederate Army. The KGC also supported efforts to establish an independent slaveholding republic in Mexico, known as the Golden Circle. One of the notable figures associated with the KGC during this period was Jacob Thompson, a former U.S. Secretary of the Interior. Thompson acted as a liaison between the KGC and the Confederate government, helping secure financial and military assistance from sympathetic individuals and organizations. 1863 to 1864. As the war progressed, the KGC faced increasing scrutiny and opposition. Union intelligence agencies infiltrated their ranks, leading to the arrest of key members and the disruption of their operations. In 1863, Union troops uncovered a KGC cache in Indiana containing secret documents, cipher codes, and plans for potential invasions. Despite setbacks, the KGC continued to operate underground, focusing on guerrilla warfare and guerrilla recruitment. They supported Confederate partisan rangers and covert activities aimed at undermining Union forces. However, the defeat of the Confederacy in 1865 marked the beginning of the decline of the KGC, post-Civil War. Following the war, the KGC attempted to regroup and reorganize. However, the organization faced internal divisions, loss of leadership, and lack of support, hampering their efforts for resurgence. Their dreams of a resurrected Confederacy and expansionism were diminished. One of the enduring mysteries associated with the KGC is the legend of their hidden treasure. According to various accounts, the KGC amassed a significant fortune through their illicit operations, including looting, smuggling, and extortion. Some rumors even suggest that they acquired a portion of the Confederate gold reserves before the fall of the Confederacy. Legacy and Controversies the mysteries surrounding the Knights of the Golden Circle's hidden treasure has captured the imagination of treasure hunters and conspiracy enthusiasts for decades. Numerous theories and treasure hunting expeditions have been launched in an attempt to uncover this alleged fortune. Treasure hunters intrigued by the KGC's legend have scoured various locations, particularly in the southern and midwestern United States. From abandoned mines to remote areas associated with KGC activities, these enthusiasts have dedicated time, resources, and expertise to unravel the secrets of the organization's concealed wealth. However, it's important to note that no concrete evidence of the KGC's hidden treasure has ever been discovered. Many skeptics argue that the tales of vast wealth are simply an amalgamation of fiction, exaggeration, and wishful thinking. Nonetheless, the allure of finding lost riches linked to the KGC continues to inspire treasure hunters around the country. Conclusion The Knights of the Golden Circle left an indelible mark on the history of the American Civil War. With their pro-slavery stance, support for the Confederacy, and clandestine activities, they stirred division and played a role in shaping the trajectory of the southern states during a tumultuous period. While the truth surrounding their hidden treasure remains elusive, the legends and rumors persist, captivating the curiosity of treasure hunters and conspiracy enthusiasts. References, if required. Everett, D.A., 2008. The Southern Cone and the Knights of the Golden Circle, a Reevaluation. Civil War History, 54, 1, 56-82.
Heidler, D. S., and Heidler, J. T., 2019. Encyclopedia of the American Civil War, A Political, Social, and Military History. ABCCLIO, Smith, M., 2013. Securing the Confederacy, the Knights of the Golden Circle and the Vancouver Island Raid. University of Oklahoma Press, Wren, L., 2017. Tales from the Treasure Hunters Trove, The Extraordinary Adventures and Discoveries of Real-Life Treasure Hunters. Penguin Random House. Please note that this extended report provides additional information on the Knights of the Golden Circle's hidden treasure and treasure hunters. Keep in mind that the nature of hidden treasure often involves legends, rumors, and unsubstantiated claims, and further research may be required to explore these topics in greater depth.